So as Paul did enlighten you, this bike is a serious good sports tourer, but the problem is you can't carry even a toothbrush because there's no luggage space at all. So we might as well start with the luggage. Now these tank bags that they're doing nowadays are far too big for little people like me. You can't even reach the handlebar. But I jest, because here, first of all, we have a pannier. Or that is a case which can indeed be a pannier, or with the right framework, be a top box. And people like this, which is the jivvy box, and Kappa and Nonfango, who are the many that do this type of luggage, you can buy a full framework to go on the bike and then put your panniers on for around £300 and upwards. But I can assure you, you can top six and £700 by having the big cases and all the colour coordinated colours. So they can look the business. Bear in mind that if you do swap your bike and you change colour, the panniers are then, well, they go with the old bike and you have to invest in a new set. So consider a plain coloured set, maybe plain black or grey like the one I've just shown you, that will keep your cost down for the future. This bike has got a hugger on it, and there's a hugger. Now if you're going touring, and therefore using the bike in all types of weather, the last thing you want is all the muck going onto your linkages and onto your shock absorber on, on the rear wheel. So a hugger's available. These will cost you around 50 quid for the plastic ones, but you can reach up to 130, 140 pound if you go for fancy carbon fibre. And of course, the plastic one serves the same purpose. At the front of the bike, you might want to then stick on something like this, which is called an extender fender, which will cost you £14.50, sticks on the front mud guard, and that stops all the rubbish firing on to the underneath of the bike at the front. Keeps your bike a bit cleaner. The tank bag. There's loads of different types of soft luggage tank bag like this, tank bags which you then can put onto the back of the bike and they can become a seat bag, but this particular one is a magnetic bag, it's made by Weiss, it'll cost you £60, it expands high so you can put an awful lot of stuff in it or you can drop it nice and low so it doesn't get in the way of your handlebars. And just to finish off on the front for your touring uses, this, which is a flip up type screen and this will flip the air right over the top of your helmet and visor so if you are going on a long journey it just takes the load off you makes your journey a little bit more comfortable this bike has got fitted to it some heated grips Paul mentioned that in his little piece they are great for in the winter and they will cost you anything between 40 pounds and 65 depending on the make and it's also got fitted to this bike some Goodrich brake hoses which I think really is not a bad investment on any bike that happens to be more than three or four years old because the bike pipes they do perish and they do cause a little bit of flex making your braking a little less sensitive and a set of Goodrich hoses are pretty good and they don't cost an awful lot of money usually around £15 a line and you might have three or four lines depending on the configuration of your brakes. So there's a few things that you can stick on your VFR 750 and make it into the ultimate tourer.